And my phone died in the middle of a live video. We were on a line from Dickinson. What was the line? Oh, from renunciation is a piercing virtue. Paul, my love. Preston Taylor Stone, who's a PhD student at the University of Miami, had just said Cyborg Dickinson could be in part because she's using M dashes as a cyborg um, technique. And I was like, oh, brilliant, yes. But I was also saying, I don't understand her poems. So the code of the M dashes can also be the code of the poem. All of this is hypothetical, speculative. I'm making a piece of art called Cyborg Emily Dickinson. I don't know how to sew. That's why I started the live video. People are helping me with that. I mean, also to recap, Danny Vasquez was here. Danny's an editor at Astra House. I love Astra House. They just published um, Yu Shu Ha's A Moonlight Rests on My Left Palm. What is this book? It's by a Chinese poet who has cerebral palsy and who has sold an enormous amount of books in China. I think something like 300,000 copies. An extremely well-read, um, well-read, well-received poet in China. And for the first time, her book is available in English. I love her book so much. And one of the poems in it is called Crossing Half of China to Fuck You. It's a great poem. What brought us to that? Well, talking about disabled poets, talking about Emily Dickinson, talking about the poem Renunciation is a Piercing Virtue, which has the lines in it, not now the putting out of eyes. And those lines are difficult for me. Um, not now, I understand. Not now, some other time. Not now, maybe later. Not now, because I say so. Not now, I'm busy. Not now, for reasons. Okay, get that. But the putting out of eyes, I didn't get. The putting out of eyes, of course, could be a reference to Oedipus. That's like what Oedipus Rex does once he discovers the situation he's in. He puts out his eyes. The putting out of eyes could also be about Emily Dickinson's disability. I'm saying she's disabled because she has low vision. I'm saying that based on how often in the poems she's talking about eyes and specifically problems with vision. I also think she's disabled because she has perhaps anxiety or agoraphobia or any adjacent condition. Not trying to diagnose her retroactively. I am trying to say that one of our beloved poets is disabled and was disabled, and we shouldn't be like, oh, hush, hush about that. Okay? So, the not now, the putting out of eyes made a lot more sense to me thanks to the poet Mary Jo Salter, who writes about this poem, Renunciation is a Piercing Virtue and asks us to drop the W from now and to drop the E, the first E from eyes. And what we get in that occasion is not no, the putting out of yes. And Salter justifies this analysis, this interpretation very smartly, in my opinion, by saying that eyes is a homophone for I, 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 as in I agree. So not now the putting out of eyes becomes not no, the putting out of yes. I love this so much because it goes back to a fragment by Sappho. <coughs> who I also think is disabled. I do. I mean, how do you read the poem Seizure and not think Sappho at least has the potential to be disabled? For that matter, why do we default historical poets as non-disabled? 
why don't we let their poems tell us who they are? So Sappho's poem that relates to this Dickinson line is a fragment that says, oh, I'm going to forget it. This is a chronic pain moment. Give me a second. Because I lose things sometimes with my neurodiversity. Okay, the Dickinson line is not now the putting out of eyes, which Mary Jo Salter reads as not no, the putting out of yes. Okay, the Sappho line is I think yes and then no. I'm of two minds. I don't know what to do. Something like that. And of course it depends who you read. I'm a Willis Barstow fan for Sappho. So you have these two women, centuries apart, grappling with the same emotion, which is uncertainty, a liminal space, not no, the putting out of yes. Y'all, what does that even mean? Does someone have a read on that? Okay, not no for me is like, I'm not saying no. I kind of want something, whatever it is. I'm not saying no to you. But I'm also putting out yes. Which can be read two ways. The putting out of yes, as in snuffing it out. As in declining it. But it can also be the putting out of yes, as in like, I'm sliding this over to you. I'm putting this out to you. And it's a yes. What are you going to do with it? And I also want to add that it could be a disabled sex poem because of the fact that it's the putting out of eyes. Let's just imagine that Dickinson is saying, I'll do this, but I'm going to blindfold you. It's where my mind is. Well, because Dickinson has eye issues herself, and because I'm so tired of Dickinson wearing an angelic, white, cherubic, I'm so good sort of outfit, and because I'm so tired of men doing things with Dickinson in their poems. Yes, Billy Collins, if you see this, I am speaking to you. So here is the um, art that I'm making. I'm using a filter. So she has a hot look to her. There's duct tape on this piece of art. There's a stone because perhaps Emily Dickinson is stone. She's wearing a dark Victorian dress. She's wearing a choker. And I'm gonna sew something on the left side. And thanks to y'all in the video, like before my phone died, I know how to sew now. Okay, plus I'm gonna let YouTube teach me.